Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. I'm here at Maker Faire 2017. We're seeing a lot of CNC machines, but this CNC, which is called the Goliath, is actually, it looks like a robot. Now, Lorenzo, you're one of the founders of the Goliath CNC. Tell me about your device and what makes it different than uh, a, a CNC that's on a bed with a gantry system. Hi. Goliath, it's a CNC portable robot that you can place directly on the surface to work so that you can work at any size, at any space. You place Goliath on the surface to work and it moves autonomously so that you don't have like a, a boundless work area. So as opposed to using like a two-axis gantry system for your XY movement, it's all programmed onto a robot with, with yeah, wheels. wheels. Now, I, I see a couple of technical hurdles to, to get this to work. Like for example, how does the robot know where on the, the your material, your four by eight is? I assume that has to do with these here. Yeah, yeah. the hardest thing was to find like the right balance between the torque of the wheels and the weight of the machine and the power of the router. Right. So so uh, first of all, we found like this balance, and right now we are introducing for the first time at the Maker Fair this new system of positioning, which is made by these two towers, that allow to Goliath to uh, improve like the reputability and the precision, and so that, moreover, as you uh, already said, uh, to know its position on the panel. So you're not using any uh, computer vision, for example, for the robot? Yeah, it's a kind of triangulation, and this is uh, gives the position to Goliath, and they are talking like. Uh, wireless so that they are continuously communicating and uh, this is gave the position of the robot. How, how accurate is your goal? How many, what's your tolerance? Yeah, the, the goal we have like uh, in the prototype without the positioning system we reached like a half of millimeter which is like a, a, good, a good result and, and uh, with this the, the target is to reach one tenth of millimeter so that like we want to be perfectly aligned with the precision of the normal uh, CNC desktop machine on the market. Now, the other thing you talked about is the strength of the router, the router itself. Because you're on a carriage that you have to have low friction for your wheels, yeah. and you're exerting downward force as you're routing, but you also have lateral movement. How strong is that router? How much Z-depth can you get? And how fast can it move? The, the maximum thickness uh, of this prototype, it's uh, around uh, three centimeters, which is the, the maximum thickness of wood panels on the market. Um, regarding the, the path, it depends on the milling tool, so that's as you in the traditional milling machines, it's, the, or it's again a balance between the diameter of the tool and the depth that you can find. Um, so uh, right now the feed rate is 600, and so uh, yeah, it's quite uh, the, the, um, the speed it's aligned as desktop machines. And, and do you have Z-axis control as well? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have you can, there. There is a motor down there that controls the, the Z-axis. Uh, what software are you using, and are you letting your software do input all those variables uh, from the size of your material to what bits you're using? Yeah, we are developing a, a personal software, so uh, made by us. Uh, but Goliath reads like a G code, standard G code, uh, so that it's the uh, usual, uh, normal uh, code for uh, milling machines. Now, I know there are a lot of technical problems to solve to make this work, and I assume it works well on a flat surface. Now, yeah. because it is on wheels, yeah. uneven surfaces, is that something you're looking forward to in the future, potentially developing? Well, we can work uh, soft materials, so more than uh, wood panels, also plastic ones, and uh, we had made some tested on aluminum, mm. like, uh, of course, the thin, thin one. Uh, but uh, maybe in the um, yeah, it, of course, Goliath has to work on the flat surfaces, so that it's it's uh, thought for this reason. But uh, thanks to the weight of the machine, uh, in case of the panel, it's not perfectly plain. Uh, there are no problem because uh, the weight of the panel uh, like uh, made it flat, and so that there's not a problem. And power-wise, you're getting power from external source yeah. to power those high-torque motors. Exactly. Now it's moreover than the motors, uh, the, the the power source is the the router, 
uh, we thought and we are going maybe to try to do it with uh, batteries uh, but right now uh, was not I think uh, for the user it could not be so easy to maybe maybe have like uh, 10 minutes of, uh, of working and then you get to change the battery and so that uh, right now we are working with uh, power cable and then I, I see after uh, we're going to launch a crowdfunding campaign in September and so that uh, maybe we can uh, we are going to predict like a stretch goal and if uh, it goes well we are going to make it like with batteries and uh, so it will be all wireless. Do you have an estimate of how much this product might cost? Yeah, the, the pre-order price will be around uh, 1,300 euros, which is not so different from the dollars. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this is the, the pre-order price, this one. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lorenzo. It's very nice to meet you. It's very cool to Thank see you. an interesting take on CNC here at Maker Faire. Yeah. Thank you, and we'll see you guys next time.